extra money from home in 2017. Okay, side jobs to make extra income, to make side side income, to make extra money, extra money online. Some of them are make money, you know, just from home. Uh, you know, little business ideas, side businesses, side jobs. Okay, these are things that you can do on the side, keeping your regular job and earn extra money from home, earn extra money on the side. You didn't know? Well, here we go. Like and subscribe, share, leave a comment. Okay, one of them is writing. Okay, there's a lot of ways to make money writing online. You know, you could, uh, you can blog. You can, you can write eBooks. You can trans make transcriptions. You can do translations. Okay, uh, you can go on Fiverr. Go on Fiverr. And uh, you'll see that there's a lot of different things that you could sell uh, as far as different ways and things to write. People want to write titles for their videos. People want to write titles for their book. People want uh, a summary. People want... Well, there's all types. There's millions of different things on Fiverr. Uh, and, and, of course, the name Fiverr indicates that each job is $5. But that's the start. There's also jobs that can go up hundred dollars you know it depends you know you, your first job let's say is uh, for five dollars you'll write a uh, hundred words or three hundred words whatever it is you know but if the guy wants a thousand words then you're then you're selling them more okay and you know, there's also Upworks Upworks is a little more competition a little better competition a little more professional uh, than Fiverr um, so and then you got those. So you, you can peddle your own self, your own wares, so to speak. You know, uh, as far as being a writer and try and try and hustle and make money. You know, writing is not a glamorous thing that people romanticize about being a writer. Everybody wants to write a novel and sit on the beach and sip my ties and all that kind of crap. But uh, the simple fact of it being a writer is uh, is not easy. You're writing about subjects that you may or, may or may not even be interested in and that's not something that's easy to do so uh you know if that's what you want to do and you think you, you know people have a talent for it and you know by all means you can you can definitely make money doing that so you know check out those two things pro blogger pro blogger.com uh you go on, on onto the toolbar and click on jobs and it'll list you all types of bids you know jobs that are out there for bids and uh you know, for different, you know, articles, blog posts, and things like that, so, I, you know, I'm not sure exactly how it works, because I haven't submitted anything, but, uh, you know, you can check that out, you know, I, I hear it all the time, blogger, blogger.com, so, you know, give it a shot, and, uh, was that what it was? Pro blogger, sorry, pro blogger, pro blogger.com, so check that out. Another thing you can do with writing, like I said before, is transcriptions. And uh, transcriptions, I've said before in other videos, Rev.com. Rev.com does, uh, does that as long as translations. So transcriptions and translations. And uh, another place that you can try is uh, Transcribe Me. Transcribeme.com. Uh, another place to do transcriptions. Okay? So check out those two places for, for writing online. Okay, so now another thing you can do from work from home, from side side jobs, and uh, is is what user testing. Okay, so user testing, usertesting.com. That's what I wanted to say. User testing. So user testing is uh, you sign up, and uh, like they they figure out what you like to do, what 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 interests you have, and they send you stuff to test, and you write reviews on them and. And uh, stuff like that so you know user testing and you know you're getting free samples of stuff to use so you know not only are you uh, making money but you're also getting free products you know who knows and maybe you can even put those free products on eBay for sale uh, after you're done with them you know who knows I, I don't know maybe so you know check that out and uh, user testing is another way to make side job money some side money on the side some extra money you know Sometimes you need some extra side money to get through a week. Sometimes you need some money to pay a bill in, at the end of the month, and you need some side money. And, and you, it's not a job where you're, you're committed to. And, a, and uh, these 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 things pay off. These things are good to know. And you know, 
in a pinch when you need to make some extra cash. Are you a graphic designer? <clears throat> Are you a designer? Do you do stuff with the computer, graphic designs? You know, if you're that kind of person where you could make uh, a cover, an ebook cover, or or uh, some YouTube art, channel art, or or something like that, you know, where or you know, I don't really know all about uh, graphic artists and graphic design, but you know that kind of stuff. You can sell your skills on, like I said before, Fiverr. You can sell your skills on Fiverr and, and uh, you know, do it a book cover or, you know, and like I said before, the $5, you know, hook into Fiverr, you know, that's just the, the, the basic job. The basic job, you make that simple, basic, plain job, and then you have upgrades for $10, 20 50 $100, and uh, that's how, you, you, you know, you, you hook them and you reel them in, all right? So, you know, that's what you do with that with graphic design you can put your stuff on Fiverr again like I said before Upworks Upworks is more competition if you're good at what you do if you have a following if you already have a base you know you go to Upworks and and you can do it from Upworks um, and there was something else 99 designs 99designs.com is uh, supposed to be very very competitive for, for graphic designers uh, you, I think you bid for uh, for, for jobs, so you, so you uh, you would actually do the job and submit it with a bunch of other people that would submit the jobs, and then uh, the person who wants the job done would then choose you know who they who 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 the best one was. So I mean, 99 designs, you pro you make the most because you you can charge a lot for your design, but you're doing work not knowing if you're getting paid. But if you're good at what you do, you know, you're confident, and you know, it shouldn't be a problem for you. So, so graphic design, if that's something, you know, and that's, again, something you could do on the side. You pick up a job, you pick up a side job, you pick up, you know, and, and you just do it a one-time deal, and you get paid one shot, you get paid, and that's it. So, you know, those are the kind of things we're talking about here. I mean, you know, hit it and quit it, you know. So, you just do it and get it done. So... You know, let's see what the next one is. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the more traditional side job. What I did when I first, when I, when I 20 years ago, 25 years ago, uh, when I needed side money, I did side work. I did, uh, I started a painting business, you know, I, I, I painted apartments. I went to, uh, I went to some, some real estate management offices real estate management for, for apartment buildings and you know these apartment buildings they have uh they have turnovers people move out all the time so if you know you got a 150 unit apartment building maybe three people move out a month on average maybe one move out a month on average depending on where you are and, and what the turnover rate and what size apartments one bedrooms as opposed to two or three bedrooms one bedroom apartments turn over because people outgrow them so you go to them and you, you find out what they're paying to paint their apartments. And these are basic apartment painting, flat paint, flat ceilings, tr you know, basic trim, no, no, no fancy, you know, stuff. And you, you can bang these out pretty quickly. Uh, you find out what they're paying and you undercut it, you know, newsflash, you know, charge less and, and you make and, you, and, and you'll get some jobs. And that's how you do it. And you, that's what a painting business. So, you know. I, I was doing that for a while until I, I kind of lost my connection, but, uh, you know, and it was taking up a lot of time. I was doing a bunch of other stuff that was more lucrative. So, but, you know, if painting is something you can, you can share, you know, sell a skill, you know, and if you're not a great painter, you, maybe you've never painted before. Maybe you only painted your own house, you know. Believe me, it's the same thing. If you ever moved into an apartment and painted, it's the same thing, okay? You know, nothing fancy. Flat paint, okay? Some of these jobs I, I got away with just washing the damn walls because, you know, they, they were just dirty. If, if, if someone's only in that apartment for a year, it doesn't need a full paint job. So you, you cut corners and you, you save time and you make more money. So, you know, the painting business is very lucrative. It's something you can do and it's all year round. You can do it. And if you get in with a couple of these apartment buildings, you know, and all you need is one a week, you know, it, you know, it's a side business. So you're only, obviously you're not doing it 40 hours a week. You're only doing it 10, 20 hours a week. Right? So that's what you got to do.
you could also start a handyman business. I, I had a handyman business, side jobs, handyman. I, all of these things run at the same time, you know, and you just pick up different jobs. Whatever job I pick up, that's the business I'm in that week. I'm a handyman this week. I was a painter last week, you know, and that's the way it is. So, but uh, handyman, I know what you're saying. I'm not handy. I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. You know, you don't have to be handy to be a handyman. That's funny, right? But uh, a lot of my jobs, a lot of my jobs were hanging pictures, putting furniture together, you know, Ikea furniture, you know, the, the, any, any kind of furniture that you buy today has to be put together. You can't, there's no such thing as something that's just already, you know, made and that you buy. So, you know, elderly people, single mothers, single women, some guys don't know what they're doing and uh, need help putting these things together. And these uh, instructions on these things are, are pretty complicated. And uh, the thing with these little plastic parts is if you put something together wrong, it's broken. You know, you, you have to order another part and get, you know, call the 800 number and have to mail you out another part. So a lot of people, after they do that once or twice, they, they would rather have someone else do it for them. So, you know, you put an ad on Craigslist, you know, for little, little services, no job too small. Uh, you know, some people spring clean and they, they would want, they need someone to help take down their curtains, stuff like that. Okay, flip their mattresses. Okay, Th these are all things that you can do. In your mind, when you think handyman, you're thinking uh, clogged toilets, you know, clogged drains, uh, painting, uh, you know, fixing a door, you know, changing a lock, uh, you know, whatever, you know, fix you know, a hole in the wall, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, broken switch the lights which you don't work you know those things I mean I do those too but uh, if you're not a handy person you doesn't have to, you don't have to lock yourself into you know you could be you could be rent the husband you know rent the husband it could be a great we got a guy over here honeydew man he's got the honeydew honeydew list you know you've heard of honeydew list honeydew this honeydew that so he's the honeydew man and he does you know that that's his gimmick so you can do stuff like that you know uh, rent the husband is you know women a lot of men today are working 60 80 hours a week and uh it's not the fact that they're not handy they don't have time to do stuff or if somebody that's uh somebody that's making 80 dollars an hour as a lawyer okay doesn't want to spend an hour doing some menial job okay because to him that's 80 dollars to you it's 20 dollars you know to him it's 80 that hour so you know when you put it in perspective like that he'd rather pay you 20 than lose the 80 for his hour you know so that's the way it is so you know handyman could be very lucrative you know I think I've mentioned it in another video like what I did was the senior centers you know senior centers bingo halls um, these these type of places that you know you can go to and put up little signs or just hang around or get yourself involved volunteer at the bingo hall or something and get to know some of the people from no people involved that, that are in charge and network yourself and, and put yourself out there as somebody who's you know get yourself some business cards and leave, leave them out on the tables these people will will definitely call you they definitely will call you so Okay, something else that you could do and that I've, I've seen people do is uh, home or office cleaning. You know, a lot of people start their own cleaning businesses. Uh, you know, office businesses are easy. You know, you can do it at night, cleaning offices, and you get a couple of offices, and, uh, you know, you vacuum, you empty the garbage, you mop the floors, you clean the bathrooms, and you're out of there. You know, and you get a couple of clients, and you do that. And, you know, or, you know, you could also do homes. Homes, you know a little bit more people like look don't trust people to be in their homes so they're not going to take a fly by night you know somebody just you know out cleaning homes they, they want someone they can trust offices is a little bit more easy to get into and i mean you can get into homes and especially if you know people and who know people and you might be able to get involved that way so you know but it's something that you can do you can trade your time for money you can turn around and and, and you know network yourself Put a couple of ads out there find out you know and, and once you get one once you get one client you can use that as leverage at other clients say okay you go to the next job when you're trying to sell yourself say well i do this and this for such and such you know maybe even give them a call 
and get a recommendation on what kind of job I do. You know, and once you get one, then you get two and you do the same thing. You ask them, you know, I'll give you 10% off if I can use you as a review, you know, can, can I, as a recommendation. Can I have somebody call you and let you know what kind of job? I, and you do stuff like that and then you grow your business, okay? So office cleaning is something you can definitely take care of and, and do. A lot, of, Not a lot of equipment, okay? You know, basic stuff. You don't have to go crazy with a lot of equipment. So that is another thing. Listen. When you want to make side money, any idea, you got to freaking grab it, you got to go with it, you got to hustle, okay? You're going today to look for a client for your home office cleaning business, you're not making any money, okay? Because you're only looking, you're out there beating the, beating the pavement, pounding the pavement, okay? You have to invest time before you make any money. Right, that's what you got to do, and you got to get that through your head. You got there's plenty of, of, of back work stuff, you know, that people don't see that you got to take care of. You know, it's, it's just you just don't wake up one day and start making money in a, in a business, it doesn't happen like that. Okay, all right, so there you go. Okay, so another one is uh, food delivery. This one I like, this one is pretty cool. I, I what you do is it started the first time I heard about it it was college kids that uh, went around to local restaurants and uh, got permission to use their menus and even worked out a deal you know 10% off you know they're gonna bring them volume what they're gonna do is you're gonna call them up they put out a bunch of flyers with the restaurants listed on them which restaurants are involved and you know you you pick up you, you people call you they order the food from, let's say, McDonald's. And I'm just saying McDonald's. It could be any kind of three, five-star restaurant. Okay? And they order from you. You call the restaurant and order, pick up the food and deliver it to you, to the customer. Okay? The customer pays you delivery fee, probably a tip, and you're getting 10% off of the restaurant bill in the first place because you're bringing them bulk business. Right? So you could make some money. So I saw I saw a flyer the other day and it was a picture of a fat guy and it was, you know, fat guy food delivery or some fat guy food fast or some something silly like that and uh you know, he was he was parlaying the fact that he was fat and that he was good at, at, at eating food and to being able to deliver the food. Well, I, the first thing I thought of was the guy's going to pull over and eat my fucking food. But uh yeah, I thought that was funny. But you know, it's a good idea. If you can get a couple of restaurants together, it doesn't you can start with just a couple, and then once you've got a couple, then you can go to the other restaurants and say, "See, it's working for them. I'm bringing them business." And this and that, you know. Believe me, you know, having a takeout, and it's another thing they have to have a takeout. So most of them don't have deliveries, but they'll have a takeout. So you know, you're picking up the takeout and you're delivering it, and you know, you just make sure that it's made right and it's, everything is right. And you take, you gotta, you gotta take the order good, okay. And you could even get up into into the into today's technology, with uh, text messaging and, and stuff like that. You know, use Facebook, do do instant messenger. You know, message me your order. This way, it's all written down. You got it in writing. They they can't say, hey, that's not what I ordered. You know, got to you got to you got to use your noggin. You got to use your head and figure these things out. But you know, if you're a hustler, if you're someone who doesn't mind, you know, moving and shaking, there's, there's money to be made out there. You just have to shake the tree. You have to figure out where the money's coming from and go out and get it. All right. So let, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's you didn't what I'm know. Saying. Well, here we go. Like and subscribe. So if you want to make money online want to make money from home you don't want to go to work you want to stay at home you want to make money can it be done well it can be done what are some of the ways that we're doing it now in 2017 how are we making money at home online in 2017 well you know it's the old adage you got to keep trying you got to kiss a lot of frogs till you find that prince so you got to you know you got to keep trying stuff you got to just keep on going over and over again try this one try that one but you know, there's there's uh, different things. Well, you got affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is where you promote other people's products. You promote other people's products 
you get them to buy other people's products and you earn a commission just like any salesman would do uh, you know any salesman you go to Best Buy the guy comes up to you selling the TV he's getting a commission you know he's selling other people's products and he's getting a commission for it okay so that's what affiliate marketer does affiliate marketer finds somebody who's selling something online or you know it could be anything it could be freaking toenail clipper you know it's a toenail clipper for fat people so they can clip their own toenails there you go there's a tip for you sell fat people toenail clippers they'll go like hotcakes so anyway so you find a product and uh, you promote it you drive traffic to a website and that's how you do it very simple stuff very basic stuff the hardest stuff is how to do it so how do you drive traffic to your website well it's uh, SEO search engine optimization and that's the thing where you know it's not something I'm gonna be able to tell you in a short video clip so what you're doing is uh, you're making backlinks and, 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 and you're putting your website on other people's sites and you're connecting things and you're doing all kinds of technical mobo jobo stuff that uh, you know it's pretty simple stuff and uh, there's plenty of videos out there you can learn how to do it okay and, and you know there's gurus out there and there's pretty good guys out there that'll that'll uh, that can do it for you too so that's affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing is uh, something I'm doing right now and uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing that so what else is new so you got affiliate marketing and that's how people are making money today and another thing that's big right now is uh, drop shipping the so drop shipping is pretty big what you do there is again you're selling other people's products but uh, a little more involved so drop shipping is where you uh, I'll give you an example so you you, you, you take it take an item off of off of uh, Amazon let's say so let's say you take a, a, a teapot off of Amazon so you take this teapot you take a you take a screenshot of it on Amazon you know not the whole edge just the picture and let's say that it's a $10 teapot so the ten dollar teapot, you took a picture of it, you still framed it, and now you're putting it onto your eBay site. You got an eBay site, and you put it on there. You put the picture on, and so on Amazon, it's ten dollars with free shipping, let's say. So you're gonna put it on for fifteen dollars on eBay. Let them let them bid on that sucker. So they send you the money for the for the teapot. They send you fifty you know, fifteen dollars for the teapot on eBay someone buys it on eBay for the $15 and you go ahead and buy it from uh, Amazon and instead of putting your information for the shipping information you put your customers information for the shipping information and Amazon will ship it right to the customer and you know it's pretty simple stuff and it's you know you never have to touch the product you don't have to stock anything you don't have to buy products you don't have to have a big warehouse you know and you can do this with millions of things so what you do is you, you, you get yourself an eBay set up right you set up an eBay and uh, you go on to uh, Amazon let's say you can do it on other sites too you can do it for Walmart you can do it for any, any site you can do it any anywhere any anywhere works but the whole thing is it has to be somewhere where you can get the item cheaper and then you think you can you can you can get a little bit more money for it you know from uh, from on eBay and you know the funny thing is people say well people wouldn't buy something that's more expensive you know you, you, how can you make any money you'd be surprised how people and you know when people search things on eBay you know your thing could come up in the search as the first item at, at the $15 and there may be some of them there for 13 and some of them but the ones for 13 may they may have to pay shipping and maybe you have free shipping so that, you know there's you never there's please It'll, it works so don't ask me why it just does I've done it and you know to me there's a lot of work and a lot of management involved it's it's you know a lot of people with this home business work from home they think it's something that they can just you know do and uh, sit back and watch soap operas all day and uh, you know I was doing drop shipping while I was working two jobs and coaching three baseball teams so it wasn't very easy easy time to, I didn't have a lot of time to vote to devote to this thing and it started to work and uh, you know I really should get back into it 
but there's a lot of administrative stuff and there's a lot of you know it's not as simple as as people make it sound it can be and you know the basic premise of it is very simple very basic premise is very simple but you know there's, there's a lot of uh, a lot of other stuff to it uh, for example I had a return eBay has a no questions asked return policy so you know you get this return policy going and uh, you know hey I spent the money they sent me the money I spent the money and uh, now they want a refund okay that hurts the pocketbook no, I mean, no matter how good you're doing you don't want to give refunds you know listen to some of these guys they, 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 they oh yeah you know it's a percentage it's, it's part of the game and it is it is a percentage part of the game you gotta you gotta but in order for it to be a percentage part of the game you have to have a game you know you have to have you have to be in the game so what you do is eBay and you, you, know, you, you get all these different things from, from Amazon. You just don't do one item, okay? You just item after item after item, okay? You, you, you do it every day before you go to work. You get up in the morning an hour early. You just go on Amazon. You search for items and you grab one item a day. You take one item a day off of Amazon and put it on eBay for a markup, okay? That's what you do. Do it for six months. You'll have a huge store and you'll have a big business running. Okay? Get some help. You know, have have your spouse. You do a little administrative stuff. You know, you got to keep track of stuff. You know, you keep you know, get emails. Just send emails out. There's there's all the marketing that you can do. You know, that to, to to bring your customers into into more items. And if you're the type of person who has a theme, like uh, let's say you. All your products are outdoors products, outdoor sports products, or all your all your product all your products are athletic products, or all your products are cooking products. You know, you get a niche going, and then you, you target them on the side, extra, except from your uh, drop shipping uh, business. So, but again, you know, the whole trick to this thing is. Uh, more than one stream of income you want to have more than one stream of income coming in so you maybe you have a regular nine-to-five job and maybe you do a drop shipping on the side and maybe you do an affiliate marketing couple of websites here and there and maybe you do uh, maybe you write an ebook you know do that but you always have to have more than one thing going on all right so so what we that's another thing we got to drop shipping so 2017 ways to make money from home and uh, you know, so what's the idea? How do you do it? How do you work from home? How do you attempt it? You know, how do you start? What do you do? Well, you start by making some extra time for yourself. You got to figure that out. You know, you're a busy person. You work. You got kids. You got a life. You got friends. You got all kinds of things you got going on. And you, how are you going to fit this in? Because you really, you can't, you can't make money. You can't make money while you're sitting on your butt doing nothing. Not in the beginning, you know. You, you get you get you get passive income. You get passive income going, but you got to build it. You got to build it first. So what do you do? You get up early. You get up an hour or two early in the morning. You know, if you usually get up at seven, get up at six. Okay, that's what I would do. You get up at six. So you get up at six. You spend that hour doing research, figuring out which direction you want to go in. What 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 venture you're going to do, uh, you know, you're going to do affiliate marketing, are you going to do drop shipping, are you going to flip houses, are you going to write books, are you going to do instructional videos, are you going to sell your own product, you know, are you some kind of educator, do you know something, do you know something about something, or do you know nothing about anything, or do you know something that you could teach somebody, okay, you know, it could be something simple, you know, you could have, you could have been, uh, could have been the goalie on the soccer team in high school and you went to camp and they taught you some tricks and stuff and you could you could make an ebook on, on, on you know 10, 10 tips uh, to be a better goalkeeper or something and that's an ebook and you can you know you put that out there and you make money you sell it for 99 cents sell it for $1.99 or whatever and uh, you put it out there you know didn't cost you nothing to you know it's stuff you already know you just you spent uh, maybe two three four hours put it together in a, in a presentation and in some kind of ebook presentation and if you don't know how to do that you can go to Fiverr and figure that out and, and, and send your send your thing to Fiverr and they'll write it for you you know it's just uh, there's no excuse not to do it there's no excuse not to do it at all so 
like what you have to do you get up an hour early in the morning you do your research you figure out what's going on and you find what you like to do some people don't like to be uh, on camera you know I'm not necessarily like liking it but I just do it I get I get over it but you know if you I'm not comfortable being a salesman that's for sure so like when it comes to selling stuff I have I have a hard time you know selling stuff face to face so I mean, unless it's something I believe in my own product something I believe in I can do or, you know but just you know, like grabbing something off Amazon and trying to and trying to sell it you know it's not me so I'm not I'm not a very good salesman so but I'll plug through if that's the way I got to make money I'll have to I'll have to learn that skill and I'll have to adapt and, and overcome and, 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 and put yourself out there so the more times you do an uncomfortable thing the better you get at it all right and not that you're ever gonna like it but you know whatever it is that you consider your weakness in you know uh, what like, like I just said for me it's being a salesman so you gotta you gotta like like cold calling people I used to do stuff for cold calling people uh, and it really was you know stuff it's the real estate that I used to be into and, 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 and uh, you know, getting leads and, 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 you know, back back 20 years ago, you know, you, you, you used a phone book and you, and you, and to get leads. You didn't, you didn't have uh, Google and, 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 and all these, you know, fancy YouTube and there was no internet when I started. So, I mean, you, you were lucky you had a pager that, that left you a message when I started, you know. Uh, but anyway, these are things that, you, you know, you go, you go through. And uh, you, you adapt and overcome what you're uncomfortable with by, by repetition, by keeping on doing it. Uh, my speed, I'm getting a little bit up there. So, you know, repeat, 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 rinse and repeat, go over and over again. So, you know, if, like if you don't like making cold calls, like, like I was saying, you know, the trick to doing that is making cold calls and reading your script and, and, and getting through it. So, I mean, that's not something that's done anymore. I mean, it is to an extent, but not really, not, not the way I did it. But, you know, if, if that's what you're afraid of, if that's your fear, false evidence appearing really. So if, well, the thing is, people that don't want what you're selling that aren't interested, but they, you're looking for the people that are interested. You know, that, that 1%, that 10% of the population that's interested in what you're selling, that, that's who you're looking for. And, you know, the rest of them don't want it. They're not interested. They, once you accept that it's not for everybody, you can get you can get over it. You get through it. And, and you know, you're looking for the people who need your product. You're looking for the people who are going to get benefits from using whatever it is that you're offering. And that's that's what you're trying to get. You're not, you're not worried about the people that aren't interested. You know, that's the problem. You know, you hung up on people that are gonna, what they're going to think because they're not interested. Who gives two shits what they think because they're not interested. I'm, I'm not interested in them if they're not interested in me. So you got to get that in your head. So you're not interested in what they're thinking about you because they're not interested in your product. Okay, so who cares what they think? All right, so you get that in your head and move on. So you're looking for those people who aren't interested in what you have to sell or what your product is or, or what your service is. There are people that are interested. And, and you know, that's how you get your searches and they, 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 they land on whatever you're doing and you find, they find your advertising and that's what happens. But how do you do it? Well, it depends on what you're doing. Okay, it depends on what you're doing. So. There's free ways to do it. There's paid ways to do it. You know, you, you know. I'm not. I'm trying to think because if you if you narrow it down to one thing, then you're gonna have problems. So, so I said, find what you feel comfortable with and what you feel uncomfortable with. Right? You make make a list of your pluses and your minuses. What 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 you might need help with. What you might outsource. So like if uh, if you're if you're not a writer and you're trying to write articles or you're trying to write a blog posts and you're not a writer or you know you don't have enough information on the subject you hire it out and, and, and you know you hire it out you go to Fiverr you go to Upworks you go to these places there's, there's other places you search it out if you don't like what I'm saying search it out from somewhere else you know what I like to do is I like to get my information from two or three sources and correlate and figure out what two or three different people are saying about one thing and say okay well that that must be the one thing now that 
there's three people talking about it, and three people reviewing it, and three people giving it a positive review, you know, it's, it must be okay. It's not just one person saying it. So, uh, so you get up an hour early in the morning, okay, and you do your research. I went off a little bit there. So, then you go to your work, you know, your 40 hour career, your J-O-B, and uh, you, you, you knock yourself out there. At lunchtime, maybe you check some emails and maybe answer some things and, you know, you take a couple of seconds out, maybe watch a video or two. And you, but then when you get home and you finish your running around with your kids and you put them to bed, and then it's 9, 10 o'clock at night and you know, normally you'd watch the news and get ready to go to bed, you know, you have to spend another hour or two on the internet doing some research and figuring stuff out. So, you know, it's not easy and it's not a lazy man's deal because, you know, and that's the problem. People in work at home has a work from home, earn money from home, you know, how do I make money on the internet? How do I make money online? All of those things have a negative uh, attribute to where people don't think that they're, that they're uh, legitimate. You know, you can't throw something up against the wall, think it's going to stick, and right away it's going to make some money, and you're going to be a success right away just because you did a couple of clicks, or you, you, you started something going, and then it didn't work out, and you, and you gave up, and, and you didn't follow through. So, you know, you got to follow through. You got The thing is to build things up over time. So, you start an hour early in the morning, you start an hour late in, in the evening, Okay, you're getting less sleep. You're getting six, five hours sleep. Okay, but you got to get it started. Once you get it started, it becomes a little easier. Then you can narrow it down to like maybe just getting up an hour early in the morning, and then you can have your evenings to yourself. Or if you like the other way around, you know, you could do that too. I like, I like to have my hour in the morning before everybody gets up. That's my time. But uh, the trick is not to give up. You know, not to give up because something's going to happen in your life. Some personal thing's going to come, you know, where something's not going to work out the way it was planned. And uh, you're going to get sidetracked and things are going to have to get put on the side for a while. And, and what you were doing every morning, you know, for, uh, could be as simple as uh, now my son's playing violin and he's got to be at school an hour earlier in the morning for violin practice because he's now he's now he's a virtuoso and he's, he's doing his musical musical thing so now you have to get up early for that so now you, the hour early that you were using to devote to trying to start some kind of business or some kind of venture to make some money on the side now you're taking that hour and you're devoting it back to your family so you know so it's it's hard it's hard you can't you can't let something like that just make you give up and say, well, you know what? I'm not telling you to get up two hours early now, but, but you got to figure something out, maybe a half an hour more or, you know, stay up late a little bit more at night, you know, but you can't, you can't just stop. You can't say, well, I can't do it anymore, you know, because that's what people, you know, you quit before the dream happens, you know, before, before the miracle happens. And, uh, I think that's what a lot of people do. And, you got to persevere through the hard times and you don't give up you don't give up you build things over time you know like with, with the drop shipping if you're doing drop shipping you know the more you build it up the more products you know you got to pull products off obviously because they, they, they either are, are doesn't work anymore or they're not being offered anymore or they're sold out from your supplier but for the most part you're building up products a product line and you're building up a storefront where it's going to work almost on autopilot and you can, you know, outsource some of the work so that you aren't doing most of it by yourself. Same thing with other things, you know, but the trick is to get these things started and built up. Obviously, you just can't, uh, you can't, you can't uh, afford at the beginning to outsource every little thing. So you, you, you got to have many hats and do it all yourself. And, you know, who could blame you? You know, you're trying to make money. You don't want to be paying money out to people. But if you can, you know, save yourself that hour so that you can bring your kid to the violin in the morning by spending $5 to a Fiverr gig to get whatever it was you were doing in that hour and get to get it done, well, then, you know, and, and by spending that $5, you get that done 
and you get your project done, so now it's bringing in some money, the five dollars was worth spending. I mean, you, that's what you gotta you gotta worry. You, you, that's how how you gotta think. My grass is long, and I gotta cut my grass. So let me go cut my grass, and uh, we'll talk again soon. So that's how you do it. You just gotta kill yourself, basically. You gotta spend a lot of time, okay, uh, making extra time. You gotta make extra time somehow or other. Whether it's only 20 minutes, half hour, to an hour, you gotta you gotta set aside some time. So you gotta figure out when's your house quiet. Is, is your house quiet at night? From 11 to midnight? Is your house quiet from 5 to 6? From 5 to 7 in the morning? You know, maybe you're a stay-at-home mother and your house is quiet from 9 a.m. to noon. You know, before, you know, kids start getting out of school or whatever happens. Okay? Or maybe you're done with your running around in the mornings and you get home from 10 o'clock in the morning after you drop your kids off at school, do your shopping and you're running around, and now you're home, and now you spend from 10 o'clock to two o'clock doing some kind of work at home, trying to make some money from home venture, right? So you do that. You gotta do it, you gotta figure out some time. Now, the next problem that you'll run across is uh, people telling you it can't be done, you know, I'm going to tell you it can be done. I'm not going to tell you you can get rich. You can't get rich. People do get rich, but not you. Okay? Odds are, not you. But can you make $100 a day? Yeah. Yeah, you can. You know, that's not too hard to do, If but you got to build it up. You know, you just don't freaking flip a switch on the internet and make $100 a day. It takes time. But, you know, it takes work. You're not sitting on your butt and making $100 a day. But people are going to tell you, you're wasting your time, okay? If you're, you're setting aside that morning time and, you know, other people think you're wasting your time. You can't listen to them. Better, better yet, don't let anybody know what you're doing, okay? People are your friends, people are your family, and, and uh, you know, they're not going to be supportive. They're not going to be... Maybe they're not negative to your face, but you know nobody's nobody believes in, 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 in these dreams. No one wants to see you succeed, and because they don't believe it can be done. If they believed it could be done, they probably would do it themselves. But they don't believe it could be done, so they don't want to see you succeed. If they, you try and succeed, and they didn't try because they didn't believe, and but you do it, then that don't make them look too good, right? So. People don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you uh, fail. They don't want to see you homeless and jobless and broke and asking them to borrow money all the time. But they definitely don't want to see you succeed. Okay? They don't want to hear success stories. Okay? You know, it's uh, the old story of the man on the hill. Okay? The man on the hill with the money. Everybody points up at the hill saying, that motherfucker. That motherfucker. Right? No one likes the rich guy. No one likes the rich guy. So anyway, you got to stay away from the negativism, the negativity, the the down, the downtrodden. You know, the, the people that are uh, just not. They're going to sap your energy. They're going to sap your energy, and you you're not going to be able to continue. So sooner or later, something's going to happen. You know, one day you're going to break your shoelace, and it's going to be all over. You're going to be pissed off, and then you're going to quit. You can't do that. You can't let the negative get into your head. Positive, positive. If you're doing it for three months, hang in there for five. If you're doing it for six months, hang in there for nine. Okay. If you're doing it for nine months, give it a year. Okay. Don't give up. Don't give up. Figure out how to tweak something. Figure out how to change it a little. Make little adjustments. Uh, maybe something works and something doesn't. You have to. You have to be constantly on it constantly trying to figure it out and it could be done and can you make a hundred dollars a day yes you can you can make more than that but you know let's say the goal is to make a hundred dollars a day to get started if i could make a hundred dollars a day 
I can relax. That, that's almost like having a part-time salary coming in or, you know, that's something that, that's a positive help. So that's what you do. All right. So uh, now that I'm back on the road, um, so negativity and you know, like your family, your family, as long as you're giving them time and you're not taking time away from your family and you're getting everything done, you know, uh, don't feel guilty about what you're trying to do. You're trying to, you're trying to better yourself. You're trying to better your family. If, if for nothing else, I'm not saying that you can ever quit your job, your career. You know, you some a lot of people have their medical coverage in their retirement plans through their job. They're not looking to quit their job. They're looking to make an extra income. If you could have an extra income coming in, so that your salary is just the live-on salary, and then you've got passive salary or income coming in from from the internet and uh, that can go towards retirement that could go towards vacations that could go for the emergency fund that can go for extras that could go for your lifestyle you know, okay or it could go so as uh, so one of the spouses can stay home and raise a family and ra raise the kids you know you should have somebody home especially in the early years right before they're in school full-time so you know, that, that could be the goal too. But, you know, the, the and then eventually, who knows? Yeah, maybe you do want to quit your job. Maybe you can. But like a lot of people don't see that happening because of their, their health insurance and their life insurance. And, and so much of their stuff is, is tied up into their career and their job. And, and uh, so they, that's their identity, right? So th some people, that's their identity and there's just no ways about it. And uh, they're going to have their job for life. You know, put in their 20, 25, 30, and, and they, 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 they get to retire. And uh, meanwhile, you're looking, other people are looking to create online passive income so that they can have the lifestyle that they want, travel around, and, and, and still make money. You know, they want to sit around the house all day watching soap operas. They can, if they want to freaking travel the country and, uh, you know, if they want to be snowbirds and spend some time in Florida and some time up north and some time in California and some time, with, you know, go anywhere they want, travel the country, travel the world. If you got passive income coming in, you can do that, you know. So, don't give up. Don't give up. Kiss those frogs, man. Get out there and kiss a lot of frogs till you find your prince. Find what works for you. You know, sooner or later, you know, these businesses work. People are making money in these things, okay? It, what, it, maybe it didn't click for you. You got to find what clicks for you and, and, and build on that, all right? And I always say multiple streams of income. You know, once you have something going and you're building something, you look for the next stream, okay? So like I said, if you have a normal job, that's one source of income. Okay, let's say you have uh, a real estate rental property. That's a source of income. Okay, you, let, you have uh, a blog, a blog that you sell uh, your ebook on, and you, or you're selling your ebook on Amazon. And so that's another, you know, income stream. If you can, you're getting a couple of hundred dollars here, a couple of hundred dollars there, and that's how you're making your money. Okay, that's how you survive. And that's what you do. And uh, but you got to work. It's a hustle. Like I say, it's the work from home hustle. You gotta hustle, you gotta work. You gotta put in the time. Now, granted, you're not slaving for eight hours a day. You're not sweating. You're not breaking your ass, okay? You're on You're on the internet. Maybe you're getting a freaking headache from, from watching all the pixels run through your head. But, you know, so you take a break. You sit there for two hours, you sit there for an hour. You do a little bit, you get up, play with the kids. You get up, go run an errand, come back, sit down for another hour. Why are you in your hurry? So, you're not limited, you're not tied in. So, you know, if you have to run to brownies or you have to run to scouts or you have to run to soccer practice or lacrosse or baseball or football or basketball or uh, drama or just want to watch your soap opera, you can, okay? If you want to watch the space aliens land on the History Channel, you can. Then you go back to it another hour. Spend, sit down, drive some traffic, figure out how to do it, okay? Watch some videos, get a course, find a guru, okay? Now, guru, 
guru. You want to have a life coach. You want to have somebody a life coach. You want to have somebody to motivate you. If you if you don't have any motivation, if you have people that are dragging you down, and you want to have some motivation, you find yourself somebody that you watch on the internet and, and that are on, that's always positive and pushing you forward. You know, watch a couple of those videos in the morning. You know, some of the videos are too long. You want to watch a, a, a positive ten minute clip on let, let's jump start this. Let's you know how to do this. Let's how to do that. You know. How to drive traffic, a free way to drive traffic, how to use Facebook, how to use Twitter. You know, you watch something like that to just get your mind going and uh, you jump page from there. The other thing, too, is once you get on, once you sit down for that hour, what you should do is you get yourself a little notepad on the side, a little scratch pad, something you can scratch notes, you know, and uh, at least that's what I do. I'm not totally uh, technology savvy where I can pull up a notepad on my computer and, and organize so I keep scraps of paper all over the place and I keep a list what I want to accomplish in that hour whether I want to watch a YouTube video on a certain subject whether I want to research Google for a certain subject whether I want to uh, optimize a page that I just writ wrote written written rotten written rotten I rotten it it rotten it. So I wrote a page, and I gotta optimize it. I gotta uh, socially bookmark it. I gotta get it out there in, in the wide world of web. Okay, I put it on the list. So I, I and I knock that off. So that when I sit down on the internet, the thing about sitting down on your computer is once you pop onto something, it leads to something else, leads to something else, leads to something else. If you don't have a game plan in place. Uh, it's very easy to get distracted, and next thing you know, you're off on something that interested you that's on a personal level. Maybe it's related to making money, but maybe it's not what you're trying to accomplish today. So you maybe you put that in your watch later, and you stick to your list of what, you're, what you planned on doing, okay? You gotta stick to your list. Stick to your guns, figure out what you're doing, and stay on, stay on topic, stay on track. That's what. That's 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 a point. That, that's a that's a hint. That's a, a tip. A tip. Okay. What did the leper say to the hooker? Keep the tip. So anyway. Uh, so that's what you do. Stay away from negative people. Watch positive videos. Keep a list going of what you what you accomplish in that hour. Try and be as productive in that hour as you can. Because you'll sit down and you'll find, oh shit, I wanted to do such and such, and I got sidetracked on that 20 minute video that I should have freaking put and watched later because I ended up killing my hour, and now I can't, I'm not gonna get done what I want to get done, and now I gotta go to work, and now at work, my mind is saying, I should have done that other thing, okay? Until you can get out of the going to that job, until you can get out of going to that job and being just over broke. Just over broke. It's a struggle, man. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. And you you know, you gotta overcome. Adapt and overcome when you hit that wall. Okay? You're gonna hit that wall. You're gonna get to a point where uh, you're gonna invest, you're gonna let's say you have a hundred dollars and you invest it in, into a venture and uh, you hit a wall and then next thing you know You gotta get another hundred dollars but your boy scout dues are due and uh your kid needs a new pair of sneakers and so you can't justify taking another hundred dollars and throwing it out of business well then you're gonna have to figure out a way figure out a way to do it and get it started you gotta keep the ball rolling okay you got to you just got to it doesn't you know there's no two ways about it keep moving forward you gotta keep moving forward always moving forward so like and subscribe leave a leave a comment on the bottom you know let me know what you do let, you know how do, how do you how do you manage your time how do you become the most productive how, how do you earn money from home what do you do uh, obviously I do a lot of driving around um, but that's my errands I get my errands done and I do this while I'm doing that I'm compounding my time so you know, I do the same thing on the internet. I might have uh, I might have two laptops going. I might have my Kindle up and, and a laptop and my phone, and I might have I might have a video going on one one thing, 
and I might be optimizing a, a web page on the laptop while I'm checking emails on the phone and the Kindle is playing uh, a video on what my next watch la- my, my, my watch later list on YouTube to try and figure out what my next move is or you know if I want to optimize and let's say go to Twitter and, and, and advertise on Twitter or use Reddit or Tumblr and there's all little freaking little tweaks you can look up and figure out to, to add to your business to figure out get a little more if you can do a tweak and get five more visits five more click throughs <coughs> you know that's what you got to do all right all right people you didn't know well here we go like and subscribe so you want to know about forex the forex market what is the forex market can I make money in the Forex market? Can I make money and stay home and have that as my job and be a Forex and, and make that a career? Well, you can. You definitely can. Uh, the Forex market is the largest market in the world. And uh, it's the foreign exchange. It's the exchange between currencies. So uh, it would be the difference in value between, uh, let's say, the euro and the United States dollar. So it, the difference in currencies, if you were going to go to Europe, on vacation and you needed to change your dollars into euros that's what the foreign exchange is so you would be able to change your dollars what the exchange rate is into the amount of euros that it's valued at and so you would be able to conduct business in in Europe and the big companies do this and on large scales and it happens all day long every day 24 hours a day five and a half days a week you can trade Forex at 2 in the morning on a Monday night or 2 in the morning on a Monday morning Whatever you, whatever your preference is, but you can trade forex 24 hours a day, five and a half days a week. Now they close on Saturdays and Sundays. They open up. They close on Friday afternoons and open up Sunday afternoons. So, I mean, uh, and two o'clock in the morning, you got you got the London office opening up thereabouts, and earlier than that, you got your Eastern offices opening up, and you know about nine nine thirty or so, you got your uh, your New York offices opening up, and when those offices, when those markets overlap. There's a lot of activity, a lot of volume, a lot of trading going on, and people can make some money. So, uh, what else is it? So, a Forex market, you're uh, investing money. Now, there's something very powerful about the Forex market that the other markets really uh, uh, are lacking is, is leverage. Now, leverage is in, in, like a 20 to 1, let's say. Let's say you have a 20 to 1 leverage. It means for every dollar, you can invest $20. So the, your, your brokerage company will lend you the money, will front you up the money. So uh, for, for every dollar you have in your account, they'll give you $20. So you know, it's very powerful. If you're, uh, you got $100, 100, you know, it's amazing how fast you can compound your money when you're actually investing with more money than you have in your account and it rolls over it's very powerful and uh, a lot of people that makes them scared because uh, by the same token that you can earn a lot of money that they're afraid that you can lose a lot of money and you can lose a lot of money if you don't know what you're doing if you're in there and you don't know what you're doing and you, you're just in the market goes the wrong way and you, and you lose your money but there's there is safeties in place and if you know how to trade there is something called a stop loss and something called a trailing stop loss that will keep you from losing your money. So, uh, it, and it, let's say it's a it's a percentage. Now, to, to make it more understood, it, it, you make money. It's called pips. So, the, it, uh, break broken down the, the the currency is 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 broken down to the fourth decimal point. Okay. So normally you have a, a dollars and cents of one point, let's say oh one for a dollar one. This goes one point oh one oh one one. So it could go five decimal places. But the fourth decimal place is what they used to calculate your money, and it's called a pip. When it goes up and down, it's a pip. So uh, so the pips are how they calculate you know, your money, wins, and losses. So the, how you do your, you stop yourself from losing all your money is, is you say, well, I'm going to, I can afford to lose two pips so I want to lose two pips, no more, no less. So you put a stop loss in at the two pip level. And as soon as the price drops two pips, it automatically sells. So you, the most you would lose is those two pips. Uh, so the risk reward ratio is, you, let's say you want, to, you want to risk $1 to make $2. So if you're going to risk $1 and you make $2, then it comes to understand that by chance, if you're only 60-40% uh, 
winning, if you're only winning 60% of the time and losing 40% of the time and your risk reward is two to one, well, then you're making money. So you don't have to be good in the Forex market. That's the really amazing thing. So you don't have to be good. You could lose 40% of the time. Four out of 10 times you can lose. You really can lose five out of 10 times and still be breaking even, right? right so five times out of ten you break even well, four times out of ten you're, you're, you're making money if you only lose four times out of ten now you know on top of that you've got leverage so you're you're you're, you're leveraging other people's money you're leveraging other people's money this is just just a, a, a no-brainer you can really make money now uh, there are trends and you know the, the market goes up and down just like any other market and and the, you know the, the, the charts and you, you see it go up and down up and down sometimes it goes straight across sometimes it'll be an uptrend sometimes it'll be a downtrend but you know can you make money on an uptrend yes most people would say that that's how you make your money on an uptrend you can also make your money on a downtrend because in the forex market you can sell so when, when something is you can bet against something so if you think something is going to go down in value you can sell it and make money while it's going down. You don't always make money while it's going up. So if you're somebody that, that nothing ever works for you and you, you think everything you touch goes the other way, well, now you can trade the Forex market and, and, and take that skill that you have that you're always wrong and you're always failing and, and, and bet on the failures. Find the failures and bet on them and you can make some money. You know, Invest on them and make some money. I keep saying betting. You know, A lot of people call it gambling and it does have a big feel of gambling but it's speculation. You watch the markets, you see it happening, you watch the trends. What happens is if you watch in the market, and then the charts, there's all different charts. There's daily charts, there's weekly charts, there's monthly charts, down to the 15 minute, down to the five minute, down to the one minute chart. Now, if you're trading, uh, day trading, and you're trading between the one and the 15 minute chart, you look at the daily chart, you see what the trend is. Now, if the, if the daily chart says the trend is going up, well, then in the, in the, in the smaller time frames in the 15 minute one minute time frames you can bet that it's going to go up because all day it's been going up all day yesterday it's been going up so on the short term periods it's going to go up so that's how you you're almost guaranteed that it's going to go up even if it drops a little it's going to keep going up so it goes up and down up and down but in the meantime while it's going up and down it's got higher highs and lower lows higher highs and lower lows so it just keeps going up and that's the trend. So you follow the trend on the on the daily chart, but you trade it on the minute, 15 minute, knowing that which way it's going. So you, it's speculation. It's not gambling. Okay. Now you compound that with the leverage. Now you're talking about making some money. Now you you know really you really can make a lot of money. There are strategies out there. There's gurus that'll t teach you uh, different different strategies and 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 systems and ways to follow the market and everything and. The truth is, they're all the same. They're not all the same, but they all work the same to the fact where some of them are going to win and then lose. They all win and lose. None of them are going to win all the time. Okay, so you're gonna, they're all going to win and lose. The, the trick is to stick to one. Find one that you feel comfortable and you can understand, and 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 just use, use that one, and don't change because every time you change, you're throwing off the law of averages. So you know you, you stick to one system, and, and you keep going with it. Okay, and and and. You know, unless after a month or two you realize that I'm only breaking even with this strategy, I'm going to try something different. But then you, you totally abandon that and go to the new one and try that one for a month or two, you know, until you find what's working for you. Things work for different people for different reasons, you know, and you depending on what chart you're on and what and, and what your what your daily attention span is to be actually watching the market. OK. Uh, hmm. So, you know, the Forex market is a powerful market and. Uh, where else can you just wake up in the middle of the night and make money? You know, really, really, it's, it's, it's something else. You know, you got long-term trades, you got day trades, you got swing trades. Day trades are in and out in a day, sometimes in a couple of minutes, sometimes in an hour. You know, you got long-term trades where you know that uh, a, a country's economy is going to be going up, so you, you invest now knowing that in six months or a year it's going to go up in a long-term trade, you know, that's all fine and good. And you got swing trading that's a couple of days here and there, you know, you're watching the swing of things and you know it's going to go up and down. So, uh, don't talk about stop loss, uh, buy and sell spreads, here we go. So, the the way that they make money on these brokerage houses is they don't charge you commissions. They don't charge you a commission, they charge a spread. So if you buy something and sell something, there's, there's a spread of a couple of pips, depending on the time of day, depending on the market, which, which pair you're using. Uh, 
you know, then the spread could be as little as, as a, a pip. It could be nine pips. And, you know, the buy and sell, it's the spread in between. And that's and they take that right off the top. You don't have to calculate, you know, your, your fees and, and all of that into your into your trades. It's already there up front for you. It's right out in the open, and it's pretty cool. Now, I use... Uh, I use an app on my phone for Oanda, O and A, O A N D A, Oanda. I don't know if it's Oanda or O and A, but I use that on my phone, and I'm, uh, I got a practice account with that. The beautiful thing with the practice account is you, you, you're you're you trading with fake money. They give you five hundred thousand dollars of fake money, and you play them, and you play the market. You invest, and you go up and down. You learn, you learn from your mistakes. You learn how the market goes, how the trends go, how to watch things. And when you feel comfortable, then you can invest your money. You know, but you don't have to invest your money until you feel comfortable and you know what you're doing. And and actually, you can show the progress on your practice account is how you started out making mistakes, and you made these mistakes and those mistakes, and then you started figuring it out. And then you started making a little bit of money, breaking even, and then you really figured it out and your system started working for you. And next thing you know, now you're ready to, to invest some real cash and, 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 and play with or earn some real money, you know. So, uh, Oanda, I'm not endorsing Oanda, but that's what I use and, and, and uh, I find it to be easy to use on, on the phone. And uh, like in my during my daily to keep track, like just look at it. I'm in the store. I'm online. I'm you know wherever I am, and and I can always check it out. And I, when I'm at home, I got it on the laptop as well, so I can always check it out. But it's been, you know there's plenty of different platforms. You know, uh, TD Ameritrade has uh, Think of Swim is one of the most popular and for all the markets, and it's got it on there for Forex as well. You know, but. Uh, a little bit too rich for my blood. It's free, but it's a little, you know, I like things to be a little more basic so I can understand. There's so many things on there that I won't use, you know, because I'm not a professional trader. I'm just, I'm, I'm just in it to do my day trading and it's part of my, uh, part of my multiple streams of income with my work from home hustle where, you know, and more than one thing, you know, more than one stream of income has to be coming in. So I got a little money coming in from Forex every day, and I got a little money coming in from my various other businesses and, and endeavors and ventures that I go, you know, between apps and, and, and everything else that's making money for me on the side. So, you know, Forex is definitely one of those things where you can definitely uh, earn some money and put it towards. And if, if you really wanted to just do Forex and you had the money to invest and have a lot of money, you know, but if you only, you know, if you only have a couple of thousand, a couple of hundred to, to, to put in, you're only going to make, you know, a hundred, a couple of hundred a day. So, you know, figure you're going to make about between five and 10% on what you have put to, to invest. And, you know, you're not going to do that in a bank or anywhere else, and you do that every day. You can do that a couple of times a day. You can roll your money over. You know, it's not like the stock market where you got to wait three days to get your money back. Uh, the money is available right away, and you just keep rolling it over. It's, it's really, you, you could sit at your desk all day and make money all day long. So, you know, the Forex market is great. There's gurus online there on, on, on the Internet that you can go to and pay money to and learn how. But, you know, like I said, the practice account, and other videos, you know, just go out and get the information that's out there free. Just keep going out there and finding it. And you get piece from here and a piece from there and you put everything together. Next thing you know, you know what you're doing and you got a practice account, which is amazing because most of these things you do online, there's no practice. You're investing your money to lose. So if you make a mistake. So, but here you got a practice account that you can actually practice until you get it. Now, that's just powerful to me. And I think that's just something that says, hey, I got to give it a try because it's free and I can try it and figure it out. If it's free and I can try it and figure it out, if it works for me and it's free, then I got nothing to lose. And if it, if it didn't doesn't work for me and it's not for me, well, I didn't invest anything other than a couple of hours of time a day until I figured it out and I didn't like it. But uh, so by all means, try it. Okay, I think it'll work for you. It works for me. You didn't know how to do the work from home hustle? Well, like and subscribe. You didn't know about forex that you can use Forex in your arsenal for your work at home hustle. You stay at home when you want to stay at home. You don't want to work nine to five. You want to stay at home with your family. You want to be a stay at home mom. You want to be a stay at home dad. Well, Forex is a tool you can use to do that with. Okay? So, Forex is the foreign exchange. It is the uh, exchange of currencies between countries, okay, so uh, for the main example is always uh, the euro versus the U.S. dollar. So the euro-dollar pair, you know, it goes euro-dollar, and it's the euro, let's 
say the euro is worth a dollar and uh, the dollar is worth $1.25, let's just say. Okay, so the dollar, it's a dollar euro 125. So then when the euro goes up, then you have it and you're making money. But if the euro goes down, you're losing money. Very simple. Okay, now it's a lot of people say it's gambling. Forex is not gambling, it's speculation. And uh, if you do your due diligence and you go about, you know, studying the market, where it's going, what direction it's going, okay, you, you can do all right. And if you have a risk reward of uh, two to one, so you're risking one to make two, so you're gonna lose one dollar on some trades, but on other trades you're gonna make two dollars. So you're doubling your money, uh, so you basically can go 50% of the time being wrong and still break even. So you could be horrible at Forex. You could be really bad at it and still make money. You know, 60-40, if you're right 60% of the time, you're making money. You just are. So, you know, when they say it's gambling, yeah, well, it does seem that way. But if you're watching the market, it's really not. Okay, now, the good thing about uh, doing this is you don't just have to waste your money by throwing your money into an account and losing it while you're learning. They have a demo account. So in a demo account, they give you, depending on the place, the one I use gives you $500,000 play money. So they give you $500,000 play money and you practice. You practice, you know, you, you, you put money down on whatever, you know, pairs that you, you know, looking at. And believe me, there's plenty of videos online to show you how to do these things. There's groups, there's, there's all kinds of stuff that you can join to learn how to do it, you know. I mean, at first it's not easy, but you get the hang of it. Okay, and it's a short-term, short-term deal. So you know, I may, I may get into a, a, a trade and I'd be out of it in 20 minutes, or maybe a couple hours, but never more than that. Very rarely would I let it go a day. You know, I'm in and out making my money. That's it. Just in and out making quick money, and that's all I need. And I'm, I'm not looking to get rich on it. I'm not looking to kill the market. You know, I'm not being greedy. Take little bites, right? Take little bites towards your work at home salary. So you know, this is just one thing, Forex market is just one thing. Now the thing about the Forex market that's great, well there's a bunch of things that's great, but it's uh, 24 hours a day, five and a half days a week. So 24 hours a day, you, you know, two o'clock in the morning, the London session is going strong. So you can you could be trading at two o'clock in the morning. You know, at 11 o'clock at night, the, East, uh, the Eastern one is going good. You know, and you, you trade that and then, then you know, nine o'clock Eastern time, got America opening up and, and when they overlap that's when there's a lot of volume and a lot of a lot of stuff going on so you know but it's 24 hours a day you can trade so you work a regular job it's not like the stock market where you know you can't really do the stock market because you're uh, you're working you can't watch it you could do this after work you could do this at night you could do this in the middle of the night you can do this in the morning you can get up at 5 in the morning if you normally get up at 7 and go to work at 9 Get up at five, trade Forex for an hour, study it for an hour and then trade it for an hour. Make your money and then go to work. It's all part of your thing, okay? A little bit at a time, all right? Uh, the other thing that, about the Forex market that's powerful is that it has leverage. And what leverage is, is, okay, leverage, it's 20 to one in, in America most of the time. So uh, if you have $1, you can trade with twenty dollars. It's twenty to one. Twenty to one trading. So you can borrow twenty to one on your money. So if you got a thousand dollars, you can now trade with twenty thousand dollars. Okay, that's great because you can really jump your money up quickly and earn money fast and compounding your money and, 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 and you're always putting money back in. I mean, at the beginning, you want to take you want to take money out because you're trying to draw a salary, but you got to start somewhere. So you got to have a base. All right, so you're gonna have money to play with. So let's say you start with the uh, thousand dollars that you put in there, and uh, you're looking to build that up to uh, three thousand, five thousand. And then once you get to that number, then you start taking money out. You leave the five thousand in to, to trade with, and you start taking out a salary off of your winnings every week, and you let it roll over. You know, you take a modest salary out of it and let it build. Okay, and that's how you build forex. Okay, and the leverage is really good. Then. You know, it's very powerful to, to, to be able to trade with other people's money. You don't, you don't have to have a lot of money. You're already leveraging other people's money to make money. And that's
that's powerful, right? So you didn't know about the Forex market, now you know, but it's only one part, okay? My whole deal is multiple streams of income. You gotta get up in the morning and do one job, then you can do another one, then you devote time to writing a blog, then you devote time to writing this, then you devote time to that business. Okay, you have three or four businesses going, you know, maybe you're an affiliate marketer, maybe you spend a couple of hours a day researching and building websites, you know, for, for products, maybe maybe you're uh, flip, flipping houses, maybe you're out driving the neighborhood, you know, uh, canvassing the area looking for, for leads. So, I mean, you, more than one thing, you, you get stuck doing one job, and then something happens to that job, it dries up, and you're, you're, you're out of everything. You got multiple streams of income coming in, okay? And one thing dries up, or something happens to one one of, of, of the streams. You're still fine because you got multiple streams. It doesn't hurt so bad. You're not losing your livelihood, okay? So that's what it's all about. Your forex. You look into it. Look into it some more. I mean, it's scary. Uh, you can't. People are gonna tell you that you can lose all your money. If you're stupid, you can lose all your money. You don't know what you're doing you can lose all your money and you probably deserve to lose all your money if you do that okay but if you do a demo account and you practice and you get a feel for it and you learn how to use a stop loss now a stop loss is an order that it automatically it's an automatic sell order so if I start losing money whatever I'm whatever I'm comfortable losing some people it's 10% some people it's 5% 2% whatever you decide you're comfortable losing and you set a, a stop loss, you know, on the pip. The pip, 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 pip. So the pips are, the pips are uh, how they figure out your money. It's the fourth decimal point in the in in in, in, the, in the currency value. So you got a, you know a one point zero 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 one, whatever. It's the fourth decimal point. There's a pip when it goes up and down. That's a pip up or a pip down, uh, and and that, that's where you're making your money on. on fourth decimal point so what else can I say about the Forex market uh, I was saying that you can't lose all your money because of the stop loss order so the stop loss order so then you decide you're, you're gonna you, you, your threshold for loss is two percent so you set your stop loss at two percent or how many pips two or five pips whatever and uh, when it gets to that level it automatically sells. You don't have to call up, you don't have to put it through your computer, you don't have to hit a button. It automatically sells so you can only lose so much. And that's how you stop. That's how you stop it from, from draining your account. And while that's going on, you have another trade going on that's going up. So the one that's going up, now you've lost your threshold, you know, your risk is two to one, right? So you've lost your, your one, now you're looking to make your two. So that's how it goes. And you, you know you're doing that on more than one trade at a time. Okay, you got more more than one going, and uh, and you just watch it. And you watch it for a little while. You watch it. Some people are long-term traders, and that you know if that's your style, I'm not going to tell you to do it like I do it. You know, I mean, there are times where I'll let it ride. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I make a mistake, and I know that if I let it ride, it'll come back. Okay, so I'll let it ride. It's not recommended, but you know you. you Give it a ride. You give it a ride. So, but uh, for the most part, I'm, I'm in and out of it the same day, even in the same hour. Okay. But uh, some people are in for the long haul, and they'll they'll do a long term a long term trade, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. But there's all styles. There's day trade. There's swing trade. You know. There's long term. There's short term. It's your your style. What's your style? And, you know, the more videos you watch, the more you'll, the more you'll figure out about the style. You know, I'm going to say something about the pips. The pips are, are it gets confusing. But when you use a, a broker for uh, for forex, it's not like for stocks where you know, like a TD Ameritrade charges you ten bucks, or or whichever one charges you five bucks, or whatever. Uh, when you when you do the forex market, it's on a spread. So there'll be like a 1.5 pip spread. It's automatically taken out. So there's a buy and sell price. There's a buy and a sell price and, and, and the difference the broker keeps. So you don't have to worry about it. It's not a lot. I mean, it's already figured in. 
I mean, I like it because I don't have to worry about what the broker is taking. It's already it's up front and you know it. So, I mean, it's very transparent when you think about that. So I like that. Uh, and depending on the time of day and which pairs you're, you're, you're trading, you know, you'll have a low, a low, uh, low spread or, or, or a big spread. You know, you have to adjust to, you know, what you're willing to do. You know, and it, you got to watch it. That's what the demo account is so powerful because you can get to learn all of this stuff for free. Okay, can't stress that enough. You can learn all of this stuff for free. You know, trying it as you go. You can fail on a demo account, constantly make mistakes, lose five hundred thousand dollars of their money, play money, and get an education. You know, I've made many mistakes on the demo account. Thank God there was a demo account because if I would have made those mistakes with real money, I might have shot myself in the head. Who the hell knows? You know, you know that that's what that's <laughs> when when you know you see people jumping out of windows. You know, when they they lose their whole portfolio, but. Uh, if you're smart and you know what you're doing and you educate yourself and you take the demo account and you use the stop losses and the trailing stop losses that, that follows your, your profits so that you can lock in profits, so, you know, it, it's, once you know what you're doing, it's, it's, you can make money. And if you devote yourself fully to, to 4X, you can make that your one-time deal. You can make that, you know, your gravy. You know, it, a lot of people like it because it gives you a rush. It, it's a lot like gambling. You get that feeling. But it's not gambling in the sense of the lotto where you're picking numbers and it's a random chance. This isn't a random chance. This, this, is, this is you doing research, figuring stuff out, seeing which way the market's going, you know, and, and, and making a trade. It's, it's based on facts of what's going on, okay? It's not just willy-nilly... Uh, I'm taking the chance. I'm going to roll the dice. If I get snake eyes, I win. You know, that's not what, what that's not what we're talking about here. Okay, what we're talking about here is educating yourself, making educated decisions, and 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 making money. Okay, so I hope you learned something. Like and subscribe. I really like you to subscribe, so I know you're out there. Leave a comment down down at the bottom down there down there. Okay, so you leave a comment, let me know what you think, and if you know anything or you want to know anything about the Forex market, I'll be glad. You know, I don't want to give you advice in, 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 in an opening video where you're just trying to figure out what it is. You know, it's something that I do, it's something I make money at, but it's not something that, that I'm going to tell you to do it like me. You, you, you have to figure out how, to, how your style is and, and how you want to do it for yourself. Okay, so that being said, you know, Click other videos, learn some more stuff, work from home, multiple streams of income, the work from home hustle, and what can I say?